I'm here at the West Australian Art Gallery at the Focus Gallery and we're looking at Helen Gray Smith's work. Helen was a textile artist and a very influential person in the West Australian art scene. This exhibition runs until March and it's a great exhibition for as many people in Western Australia to come take a look. I think that uh, uh, this is a space that we actually devote specifically to Western Australian artists and um, in the majority of cases, so we call it WA Focus as a general title of this space, uh, we want to devote this space uh, to artists uh, of WA of the past and this is uh, the case with Helen Gray Smith. Uh, so it is, a, it is a space that is important to us because we obviously want to show the importance and, uh, and the quality and the history of of uh, WA uh, artistic endeavors uh, and so going back into the past, uh, not really the very distant past but the past, uh, I think it's a good idea. Helen was actually born in India, her family had been there for a couple of generations, they were tea and coffee merchants but also engaged in some industrial production and also a little bit in the fabric business. She uh, was sent back to England for her schooling as a young child, uh, which perhaps to us now seems a fairly extraordinary experience, but she spent 10 years there from 8 to 18 before returning very briefly to India and deciding that really she wanted to follow the life. Um, of an artist, but I think for Helen too the move to Australia was fabulous because having grown up in India she found going to England um, a rather stuffy experience if you like and so she very much enjoyed coming to Australia and what she felt was the, the openness and the friendliness of the people here but she also engaged very much with the landscape which had elements of it which reminded her of her childhood in India as well. So this piece, The Waterbirds Furnishing Fabric by Helen, is a terrific piece for showing her approach to design, I think. You can see that the main element are, are the waterbirds of the title, and that reflects her interest particularly in uh, drawing uh, some of her motifs from the natural world. But what the design also does is it brings together um, a couple of ways of uh, working the design. So you have the quite linear um, representation at least of the exterior of the bird forms, uh, which is one way of mark making uh, for the fabric. But then the shapes of the grasses or reeds that the birds are within have been designed using a different technique. This scarf example that we have here is actually quite unique uh, in Helen Gray Smith's designs in that most of the fabrics that we have on display are a repeating pattern, whereas in this example, there is a single image that actually fills the, the full plane or of the piece of fabric. Landmarks of Perth, so we have uh, Winthrop Hall for UWA and also the Town Hall here, the railway station, um, Kings Park and probably the Pioneer Women's Memorial. Here we have a tram, proof that there were actually trams in Perth in the 60s, but also little scenes of um, people talking to each other, somebody walking their dog, uh, a woman with a pram here and also here. So it's a very um, personalised view of the city as well as a kind of tourist image of some of the, the key landmarks. We try to put Western Australian artists in conversation and make people feel that they are in conversation with uh, national and international uh, art. Uh. I think exhibitions like this are fabulously important for Western Australia because it's bringing the history of art practice of our state to an audience. This exhibition of the work of Helen Gray Smith is particularly important because 2016 is the centenary year of her birth and so that um, anniversary date seemed a very good opportunity for us to profile the work of this extraordinary artist but also our fabulous collection of examples of her textile work in particular. I'm Angela Albuquerque for Undercurrent.